Good morning, praise the Lord. Today is September 2nd. I am so excited about uh, taking you through the Bible. Um, today, please don't be, before starting, I want to say, please don't be intimidated by the size of the Bible, but start reading it with a small prayer and the Holy Spirit God will help you to understand it. Uh, when you uh, randomly open the Bible, you will feel as if you are in a big maze. Um, you, you won't know how to come out. But uh, once you read all the introductions and concentrate on the storyline, you won't feel that way. God bless you. Uh, today we'll talk about the first book in the Bible, Genesis. Genesis 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning God created heavens and earth. Bereshit is the Hebrew word used for beginning, and the Hebrew Bible has the first book enti entitled Bereshit. Traditionally, everyone agrees that Moses is the author of the first five books, which are called as Pentateuch, meaning five scrolls. Genesis is a book of beginnings, uh, beginning of the creation, beginning of sin, beginning of death. Everything is starting from there only. First institute of uh, marriage is also started uh, uh, in the second chapter itself. It is comprised of two basic sections, uh, uh, primitive history, uh, which uh, is covered by first uh, 11 chapters and patriarchal history from 12 to the end of uh, the Bible, end of the Genesis 50th chapter. In the first two chapters, we see the creation of God and whatever he created was good. Here we see perfectness and peace since God created man in his own image and kept him in the Garden of Eden. He created Eve as a companion to Adam and they had good companionship with God. In the third chapter, the Satan enters the garden and tempts them to go against the command of God, thus making them commit sin. Sin is disobedience. Sin separated man from God and he was spiritually dead. How to go back to God who is holy was a great problem for mankind and God himself showed them a way out by giving them a promise that he would send his son to crush the devil. It's written in Genesis uh, 315. Since this promise is the basis for Bible story, the storyline, we'll read it. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. God is talking to the Satan. The whole Bible is filled with the way God planned and fulfilled his promise. In Genesis 12th chapter, God chose Abraham made an unconditional covenant with him and decided to fulfill his promise through Abraham that he would make him into a great nation. Three promises are there in this covenant. He would make them into a great nation. Actually, at that time, um, Abraham didn't even have children and he was about uh, 75 years old. But still, he believed in God. He, he would make him into a great nation. Second uh, promise is that he would give him a land flowing with milk and honey. And third is he would bless the whole mankind through him. These are the three promises that God fulfilled. Uh, and how he fulfilled is the uh, storyline of the Bible. By the end of Genesis, we see Abraham's descendants in Egypt and their stay continues in the next book. Shall we pray? Please help us to follow the storyline of the Bible properly and give us wisdom to understand your will for us. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. Amen. God bless you.